Hi guys, I'm back with another tutorial. Uh, this is a quick tip for Cinema 4D. Uh, someone on my on my channel asked me how to make uh, those infinite studios and those infinite backgrounds, and here it is. Uh, this is a tip for Cinema 4D, and I hope you all like it. So let's get on to the tutorial. Okay, guys. So uh, in order for us to to get this uh, infinite studio and uh, this infinite background, uh, it's quite easy. So let's start our project. Um, open up a new project. Uh, put up a floor and also a background and you're ready to start so if you render it now you see that you have a line in here and the floor uh, is on one color the background is on another color so the best way for us to get started and uh, get uh, like a fast um, a fast uh, effect uh, you need to create a new material so go on to material hit up a color and on the color choose gradient uh, and on click on gradient and um, put it on circular and the first color you're going to, you're going to need a, a white color like a more bright more brightest color so it's going to be on the middle um, and on the outside you're going to put a little bit uh, like a gray uh, the, the gradient the, like I said you, you see that you have a um, nice uh, oval gradient in here as a circle gradient and um, you can choose whatever color you want, uh, but uh, you have to do it on circular. And um, and you have the this part's going to be the bright uh, color and the, the middle part of, of the the renders. And this is going to be the outside of the of the image of the of the, the background. So um, we have our material to to work with. We're going to add it to the background and also to the floor. Click and drag and put it on the floor. Okay, so um, on the projection you have to leave it on frontal. Uh, you have to you have to, to, to see if, the, if, you, if it is on the both uh, background and floor. So what if you render it now, you see that you still have this line in here. Uh, you have uh, your gradients already working on the floor, but it's not, um, it's not blended. So what you need to, to blend this, uh, it's just a tag. You're going to Cinema 4D tags, uh, go on to Compositing and um, <clears throat> uh, Highlight Compositing Background and um, take this one half. So if you click and drag to the floor and you render it, you see that you have uh, your infinite background. So it's uh, quite easy. This is just a quick tip. If you, uh, I can show you like uh, if you put up a cube in here and you if you rendered it, you see that you have no shadows, uh, how can I say, um, we have no lights on the system. So what we're going to need to do now, uh, I'm going just to increase a little bit the size of my screen so I can work a little bit better. So I'm going to put it on 1280 by 720. It should be good. And uh, this this comes like the, the render parts. Um, I'm not here to explain all the render parts, but uh, this part is very important. So. I'm going to, to explain to you. Uh, put up a global illumination and put up a mute inclusion. And on the anti-aliasing, put your geometry like the best. Uh, choose whatever folder that you want. And this is okay, so I'm going to put on current frame just for us to, to make a quick render. If you render it now, you see that uh, everything is going to be like a uh, we have shadows already, but um, since we don't have lights, uh, global illumination is not working correctly. So um, what you need to do is like uh, put up. A, I, w I work a lot with grayscale gorilla light kits because they're easy to work with, and uh, I'm not like a pro on the illumination, but um, well, one day I will be. So um, if you put up like a, a overhead softbox and um, a softbox also, uh, okay, let's click and drag again. Okay, we have our softbox, um, and here on the settings, uh, we have to we have to put our lights where we, where we want it, and um, just make a material to to see the box a little bit different. I'm going to choose like a, like more red, and I'm going to put a little bit of reflection so you can see the um, the quality of the render. So. Uh, Going to put a frame now. We don't need a lot of reflections, so we, we only need a little bit of reflections. Uh, it's okay. So if you add this to your object, to your object, I'm going to put a little bit. I can say cube. Okay. Um, and and this is almost set to to be ready. So 
uh, this is a very easy very easy to make uh, and with a really cool quality but with these lights you can also make it uh, with the without uh, the grayscale gorilla lights but um, I recommend them so because uh, they are really good and they, they give you really uh, they cast really good reflections and really good shadows and they are easy to to work with so um, this is the tutorial I uh, hope you like it I uh, hope you follow along and subscribe and um, I'm going to I'm going to be back for more so um, cheers Bye.